at the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me. Don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. Twelve, I swore the oath, leaving home and family. At sixteen, I saw my master die. I took up his shield and his name, and on that day, I became a crusader. Armored by faith, driven by duty, bound to kill the enemies of Zakarum. Sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Now, corruption returns to the hearts of men. I see it in the eyes of the mad. Hear it in the howling of the damned. A falling star in the west leads me to the town of New Tristram. The crusade calls me, and so I go. The fallen star is close. But there is death here, too. Greetings. I am a crusader of the Zakarum faith, and I saw a star falling on this town. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world. Can't you see that? As the shepherd watches over his flock, so shall I care for those who seek to protect us. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. 
Are you Leah? They tell me you survived the Falling Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The ones that are turning! The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Something like putting the dead back to sleep? I can do that. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. How could that help us? We never should have built on this cursed ground. Maybe Cain was right. Even in death, Diablo torments us. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. I've come to help. How do we stop these risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Have faith, Captain. Have faith. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Ah, that's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I, Deckard Kane, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. I returned to Condorus after twenty years. The burden of countless failures and tragedies heaped upon my shoulders. Am I being punished for helping that stranger hunt the Dark Wanderer? I always thought Deckard Cain half a madman. But perhaps he was right. Perhaps he can banish the shadow hanging over my life. While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. Dear reader, I am Abdalhazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. Not enough wrath. Close ranks. Stay close. Light guard you. A waste of my time. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. She's brave, 
With help, she may yet save Cain. I heard you helped out at the gate. Pretty brave. Or foolish. Don't you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon. My brother died defending this town, while that bloated coward tried to run away. Please move your cart. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Lord Mayor, please move your cart. Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? Fleeing will not save your life, and certainly not your town. What do you know of Leah and Cain? Not too much, I'm afraid. They came here almost a year ago. She split her time between looking after him and helping out the town. He spent his days in the old cathedral, looking for old texts from what I hear. They were inside when that thing hit. She's lucky to be alive. I've never heard of the Crusaders. We serve the Zakarum faith. We're from the east and only recently came to these lands. Some of us did, at least. Well, I hope you're not planning to convert these people by the sword. I'm not here to convert anyone. My crusade is to find a way to cleanse the corruption that infests my faith. When that evil is destroyed, the Zakarum will be restored, and people can choose to believe in it or not as they please. For a long time, Uncle Deckard avoided coming back to this place. There were a lot of ghosts here for him. This is where Diablo drove old King Leoric mad and terrorized the people. I don't know what really happened here, but whatever it was, it was horrible. Nearly everyone who survived went mad. <laughs>